Hey you guys, it's host.promo and I'm super pumped up and excited to be, I think, the first person reviewing the new Easy Panel software. And if you haven't heard of Easy Panel, it's very similar to Heroku except it's self-hosted and you can have a server control panel in a dashboard and you can deploy all these different applications in one click. You can push to GitHub and have it automatically build and deploy your project. And it has in-browser terminal, free SSL certificates, and it looks like you can do unlimited apps. And it is absolutely free if you host it yourself. And they also have a business edition plan for $12 a month that has some more features. However, I'm gonna be going over the free plan and teaching you how to set that up on a server today and if you don't know what host.promo is it's a website where you can find the best web hosting promotions and domain promotions out there and i also review a lot of software and i'm going to have a link down below in the description as well as the pinned comment that will give you a 100 dollars free trial on digital ocean and they have a one click application for easy panel i'm going to teach you how to set that up so we're going to go up here at the top and click create droplet and we are going to go ahead and click marketplace then we are going to go ahead and search easy panel it's going to pop up and you can set the server price we'll just go with a regular server for 10 bucks you can probably do a five dollar server as well i'm just going to do a ten dollar one for this demo and you can select the location. I'm just gonna leave all the default settings and just gonna change the host name to Easy Panel. You can make it whatever you want. And I'm not gonna put this on a domain, I'm just gonna put it on an IP address just because it's a demo. Now we're gonna go ahead and create that droplet. It's gonna take about 30 to 60 seconds to deploy. All right, it looks like our server has been deployed. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this IP address, open up a new tab, paste it in. And it looks like because I'm running my own IP address, it says not secure. However, I can get around this warning. I may not recommend this for a production server, but just for a demo, just to show you guys how it works. We're gonna go ahead and accept this self-signed certificate and click accept the risk and continue. Now it's gonna load and boom, it looks like we're inside, okay? Now we have to set up Easy Panel and I just wanna give you guys one small warning. Sometimes when you deploy the Easy Panel server uh, and then you go to the IP address that DigitalOcean has given you, it usually takes about one or two minutes to fully finish setting up and it may give you a 404 page not found error. You can ignore that and just wait one more minute and refresh and it should be good, good to go. So I'm gonna set a password and you can set a GitHub token if you're going to deploy from GitHub. I'm not gonna do that in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that. We're just gonna do admin at test.com. Not gonna subscribe because it's a fake email. Now we are in the Easy Panel dashboard, and you can see right here if we go to settings, we have the GitHub token and we also have a license key. However, we don't need either of these because we're using one, the free plan, and two, we're not deploying from GitHub right now. We can also change it to dark mode, which I honestly prefer. And now we're going to go ahead and create a project. And I just want you guys to know something. I already talked to the developer of this project and I think he's going to change this so you can use caps. But for example, if we do test with a capital T, it says invalid. So we have to do lowercase here. So now we do test lowercase and it works, okay? Now, if we come here and we click here, this is the settings page. It does not have many settings. If you click these three dots, just to be able to destroy the project, which we obviously don't want to do. And if we go to plus service, you can see right here, you can add a custom application that you can deploy from GitHub. And you can also add various types of databases, MySQL, Postgres, Mongo, and Redis. And if you click templates, 
you can add WordPress with MySQL, PHP, my admin, et cetera, et cetera. So these are some of the one click applications. And my guess in the future is they will have even more one click applications. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set up WordPress because this is the most popular. Now I have a test domain I'm gonna use. And just so you guys know, you should not use the same IP address as the domain that you installed EasyPanel on. Otherwise, it will overwrite that and it will end up being a WordPress installation instead of an EasyPanel installation. So I would recommend you use an alternative domain you own and don't actually deploy the services and the templates on the EasyPanel server, if that makes sense. So we're gonna set the app service name. I'm just gonna leave it as default, WordPress, MySQL service name, MySQL, leave it as default. And if you leave the password fields empty, it will automatically generate a random password for you, which I'm gonna go ahead and do. And now we're gonna go ahead and click create. And you can see right here, now we have MySQL and we have WordPress installed. And they show you all the different credentials right here the host, the port database name, the user, password, the root password, as well as a MySQL connection URL. And you can also expose a port. Now something that is very cool is you can see the log files right here in the EasyPanel dashboard. So you don't need to log in to SSH. You can see everything going on in EasyPanel. And if we click console, for example, we can go to the MySQL client or we can use bash, okay? And it looks like it's still loading and may take a minute or two to completely set up MySQL as well as WordPress. And we will try to click it again and see if it's now working. Boom, there we go. And we can type in show databases, for example, semicolon, and boom, you have your test database right there. We can use the test database by typing use test, and then we can click or type show tables, and boom, it is empty. And the reason it's empty is because we need to finish our WordPress installation. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. We're gonna go over back to DigitalOcean, and we are gonna click these little three dots right here on the easy panel droplet and we're going to type at or click add a domain and we're going to go ahead and put in our domain name and make sure it's selected as easy panel and just click add domain now the domain settings by default are exactly what we need we don't really need to change anything here unless we're going to put it on a subdomain or something like that and we can come back here and you see right now we have the easy panel droplet as well as our domain that points to the easy panel droplet and so now if we go to our domain altfrog.com it's uh, also a self-signed certificate so I'm just gonna do advance and click accept the risk and continue and you can see right here, now we are on the WordPress installation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do English and press continue. The site title, we'll just do, whoops. Site title, we'll do WordPress. Username, we'll do admin. It will set a password automatically for us. I will go ahead and copy that. And for the email, we'll just do admin at test.com. Discourage search engines from indexing the site. Now we're gonna go ahead and click install WordPress and it says it's been successfully installed. We can go ahead and log in and boom, it looks like we're now in the WordPress dashboard and we have a WordPress website. And if we come back to EasyPanel and we go back to MySQL and click the console now, click MySQL client, and use the test database or whatever you named the database and now we show the tables you can see it now has 12 tables in the test database and we did not have these before because we hadn't finished the wordpress installation 
So you can see how easy and useful Easy Panel is, and you can manage many different projects. And on top of that, you can also deploy custom apps. And every time you push to GitHub, you can have it deploy to your server without any downtime. So this is a very, very interesting project that Easy Panel is building, and I highly recommend you guys check it out. I will leave the link down below so you can try it out on DigitalOcean and get that $100 free trial. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. And if you want to check out the best web hosting promotions and domain promotions in the world, make sure to check out my website, host.promo. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day.